Introduction to Scientist James Prescott Jewell, 1818-1889, he was the first person to show that the kinetic energy of tiny particles of matter appears as heat energy and also that energy can be converted from one form to another. Conversion of heat energy to work gives the first law of thermodynamics. The unit of heat is called joule after him. Specific heat capacity. Try this. Material, a tray with thick layer of wax, solid spheres of iron, lead and copper of equal mass, burner or spirit lamp, large beaker. Procedure. 1. Take three spheres of iron, copper and lead of equal mass. 2. Put all the three spheres in boiling water in the beaker for some time. 3. Take the three spheres out of the water. All the spheres will be at temperature 100 degrees Celsius. Put them immediately on the thick slab of wax. 4. Note the depth that each of the sphere goes into the wax. The sphere which absorbs more heat from the water will give more heat to wax. More wax will thus melt and the sphere will go deeper in the wax. It can be observed that the iron sphere goes deepest into the wax. Lead sphere goes the least and copper sphere goes to intermediate depth. This shows that for equal rise in temperature, the three spheres have absorbed different amounts of heat. This means that the property which determines the amount of heat absorbed by a sphere is different for the three spheres. This property is called the specific heat capacity. The amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of a unit mass of an object by 1 degree Celsius is called the specific heat of that object. The specific heat capacity is denoted by letter C. The SI unit of specific heat is joule per kilogram degree Celsius. And the CGS unit is calorie per gram degree Celsius. If specific heat of an object is C, the mass of the object is M. And if the temperature of the object is raised by delta T degree Celsius, the heat energy absorbed by the object is given by M into C into delta T. In the same way, if specific heat of an object is C, the mass of the object is M and if the temperature of the object is decreased by delta T degree Celsius, then the heat energy lost by the object will be M into C into delta T.